that fasting isn't just about hunger and thirst, but there are other conditions that we must fulfill in order for our fasting to be accepted by Allah the Almighty. When we go through our books, we read that it is quoted from the Prophet that on the last Friday of Sha'ban, the month before Ramadan month, Prophet describes this month and says, O oh people, warily before you is the blessed month of Allah, a month of blessing, mercy and forgiveness, a month that is the best of month with Allah, its days the best of days, its nights the best of nights, and its hours the best of hours. It's the month that invites you to be Allah's guest and invites you to be among those who are close to him. Every breath you take glorifies him. Your sleep is worship, your deeds are accepted, and your supplications are heard. In a narration quoted in our book, we read that the Ahlul Bayt والسلام, told us other qualities beside tolerating and staying in hunger and thirst in this month that they are very, very important if you are looking forward that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our deeds, accept our good deeds and fasting in this great month. The very first one is abstaining from lying this great month. So we have to be aware of that. We have to control ourselves. We have to control our tongue to stop and refrain and abstain from lying. The one who fasts must not commit lies. But there is a very special point about lying. And that is, lying never means revealing everything you know, even if you are asked for it. Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam, says in a letter to his son Muhammad ibn Ali, as we know Muhammad ibn Hanafi, and Imam Ali stated in that letter and pointed to a great point. He said, my dear son, never talk about things you don't know and also never talk about everything you know. So this is very important that lying never means revealing, stop from lying I mean, never means revealing everything we know, as Imam Ali mentioned in his letter to his son.